I grew up in Middle Tennessee. I also spent a lot of summers in and around with my grandparents on the farm, getting up at 4.30 in the morning, bringing cows up to milk. Learned to drive when I was probably seven years old, sitting on my grandmother's lap on the back roads. Those are memories that now today, I still fondly, fondly remember. You know, I took a lot away from my grandfather especially. He just built his life on a set of principles and foundations of doing what he said he was gonna do. What you really walked away with is just a core set of values that never really left. I grew up in a very materialistic world. And at the end of the day, I think you get to a point where all of a sudden you're just stressed out, maxed out trying to accumulate those things. It began to change in me and I said, it's not about the materialistic things. Because at the end of the day, you can't take it with you. I came from corporate America into multi-level marketing. I love this industry. It's, I think, the greatest micro-entrepreneurship industry in the world. I think it's a place for virtually no risk, no heavy investment, with no education, with no special skills or special licenses that you can come in and participate and change your life. We've built a lot of businesses. We've had a lot of success. But in that process, when you leave a company and go to a company, I never realized how personal the business becomes. When I became the target of one of those, my values and my vision for my life don't align with you, so we're gonna part ways. It rocked me to the point where I walked away from the industry, I was done. I think trust becomes an imperative foundation piece in any relationship, business, and it can't be about comp plans and products and shiny objects. You want to earn money, but it's what you do with that money that becomes, at this point in my life, more important than the accumulation of that money. Through that whole process, the one great thing is I never lost faith in people. And so there was always this desire to do it again. Meeting my wife was a huge highlight at a time where things were just kind of chaotic. God sent me her. She grounded me and allowed me to get back in line to what I needed to do to go move forward. Sometimes we ask for things and God gives them to us or we get presented with them, but we don't recognize them as the answer. And I think the world gets changed and everything gets changed based on our reaction to unexpected opportunities that arise. It's the reason that I'm back doing what I'm doing. Everything that I've been fortunate enough to do is because I was willing to take a look at things that other people weren't willing to take a look at. And so out of that has come the next evolution. We can create a community that is going to overcome a lot of those frustrations that I had. Trust lies in that fact. We created this opportunity in this company because I believe that it's the right time and the right place to create a company that just is a better company. A company built on biblical principles where we treat one another like we want to be treated. Couldn't be about products or money or materialistic things. What it had to be about is creating something that people, if they joined our community, they would be better off because they were there. Our job from a trust and integrity standpoint is to create a safe barrier where they can be whoever they want to be. Developing and mentoring that group of people to a point where they step out of that world they're in into a place where they want to go. And I think that's the evolution of companies. That's you know the next generation of people coming into the marketplace. These kids aren't looking for, I want to go spend 30 years in a corporate office. They're looking for places where they can engage, where they can socially be responsible, where they can give back, where they can participate. I believe it's the way in which you interact with people, the relationships you build, and the community that you create. We're going to make our opportunity so good that you want to be a part of it.